What's up guys, I'm really excited because I have one of these. Oh man. Boy, was this difficult to find. Look at this jumbo coin. These are awesome promos, man. But yes, I'm gonna be opening this up right now. And what's great about this is that if you guys have the binder, these fit perfectly in here. Let me just open up to the middle. Yeah, see, look at that. Perfect. I just usually open up to the middle. Pretty awesome, if you have them. If you don't care about the jumbos, then it's fine. All right, here we go. One, two, three packs to the right. One, two, three, four packs to the left. Strange that it's uneven, no, but um, whatever, man. Let's do this, I'm really pumped. I didn't get to find this one, but I'm grateful I have at least one of them to open. I'll just go from from right to left. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, it's free, and you'll be helping me out. Second pack. Yeah, so now, right now, that I got this, this was a pre order. Now it's all about um, battle styles. So there's this weird, like, overlap of these two uh, packs, I guess ETVs, booster boxes, whatever. Now it's like, which one are you going to go for? Depends. If you're a collector, you're probably going for Shining Fates. If you're an actual TCG player, you're probably going toward Battle Styles. So it's it's interesting. I'm both, so I'm getting whatever I can. Rusted Sword and Volcanion uh, Holographic. It's okay. But what kind of sucks is that I didn't pre-order any battle styles from GameStop because of just rumors. Oh man, look at this. Rumors of like people saying online that <clears throat> their GameStop uh, orders were being like fully uh, just canceled. That didn't happen for me, so now I feel kind of silly for you know not ordering any but whatever you live and you learn Judo, i love that card yes brand new for me and yeah mega again okay with that i'll keep getting some young megas if i'm going to keep getting baby shinies Especially a starter. I love them. 
All right, still chasing this big boy. This was uh, this was Evolutions. I would have had had him already if you guys watched any of my previous videos. For the ones that have seen it, you'll <laughs> you'll understand. Evolutions is my boy. They always got they always got something for me. Pull the reverse hollow, the hollow Charizard, the the Mega EX. I think the only one I'm missing <clears throat> in that set is just the Mega Charizard, which I'm sure I can trade or just buy. Oh yes, first amazing. Nope. Yes, first amazing rare Kyogre that I've pulled. And Celebi. Can't wait to get the reverse hollow Celebi. I really like this card. I feel like it would have been sick if it was a hollow. But it is what it is. This set is really nice. One of my favorites. All right, well, this one's gonna get graded. Although this centering is atrocious on this side. Just means like this is thicker. If you look at it, the left side is clearly much wider than the right. But if you choose to go PSA, actually the front is not. Front's... The forehead is wider than the chin, but left to right is fine, yeah. This is definitely going to be a PSA one that I'll send. They're much more lenient, in my opinion, with just centering. Everything else is the same. Although, if you want to talk about price, like when you're grading it, uh, they just double their price, so, because everyone and their grandmother are sending their Pokemon cards to get graded. So it makes sense. They don't have the, the manpower to keep up with the Supply and demand, I guess. And I think I just hit my camera. Apologies. Um, but what's funny about the grading system is that if you choose Beckett and you get a Beckett 10, it's far more valuable than a PSA 9 10, which is a little ironic because you know, everyone's choosing to go to um, PSA. Oh, yes, my first Ditto. Ditto V. I love Ditto. Oh, almost dropped too. Oh, that's so clean. Man, there's something about, like, when you pull a card that you actually like, and then it's actually pristine or appears to be pristine, makes it so much better. Nothing worse than getting a card that you really, really want and then it's just chopped up badly. But that's quality control, not actually Pokemon's fault. the most talked about either you love them or you hate them oh my god you guys seeing this <laughs> I just pulled my second amazing rare and second Yvettel ever out of this same box I didn't even know that was a thing double hitter yep kind of and an Ndidi Hollow. Now this one, this is the easiest one to see like how the cutting was quite bad. So left border, fat. Right border, very thin. So it's off centered to the right. Top and bottom are fine though. Let's check the back if it's just as bad. But look it, but the back is fine. 
How does that work? Like perfect centering in the back. So with this one, again, I think that that's far too off-centered to ever get a 10. But if everything else, oh, there's actually a little bit of bleeding there. So this one is a, would be a pass, in my opinion, to send money to get it graded. Because you'd get a 9 maximum. You would not be able to get a 10, in my opinion. I'm not a grader, so I don't know. All right, last pack magic. Trying to get this big boy. Come on, where you at? Scorch V Full Art and wow, double hitter in DDV. Wow, this box was really good. Like, what? What did we get? Two non hitters? Well, with the recap, I guess we'll find out. Very nice. And then I got a, now we got the Ndidi Rare. And the Ndidi V. Let's see this one as well. It's so thin on this side, so. It is what it is. But like, but here, here you go, see? This one's actually cut correctly on both sides, meaning it's messed up correctly. You can't have like a flawless front and then a messed up back. All right, well, I'm gonna do a quick recap on this um, Shining Crobat VMAX box. These were the four non hollows I got. Those are just two random reverse out of the seven packs. So I got a hollow in DD and in DD V. Ditto V, Snobble, Baby Shiny, Corbinite, Baby Shiny, uh, I just realized that this is a shiny, Full Art, Cinescorch V, Amazing Rare Kyogre, which looks phenomenal in my opinion, and Amazing Rare Vettel, all in the same box. That was a crazy box. Oh yeah, and then of course the the promo that they come with. I have to put those in uh, sleeves. I mean, if that's how these boxes are gonna be, I need to get another one because that was amazing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.